Hey guys, how's it going? Shane from That Student Life Australia, and in today's video, I'm going to give you my top tips on how to cram for an exam. Let's go. Alright, so if you need to watch this video, then you probably don't have much time on your side, so I'm going to be pretty quick. Now, cramming is not about being perfect, it's about getting the bulk of the major things that always get asked in every subject into your head in a short amount of time. Don't worry about the tiny little details that all the A-plus students are getting because they started probably weeks ago. What you need to worry about is the major, major, major concepts that will definitely get asked. Let's see how we can do that most efficiently. Okay, so step one, grab either your notes that hopefully you may have already made or textbooks which have all the information for your course. You need to quickly flip through, scan through each page with a highlighter or with, you know, just making a mark on a piece of paper. Decide which things are the major things that you think your teacher will definitely, definitely ask. The core concepts, the things that if you could only learn them, they would be the ones. Mark those things out, get them fresh in your brain so that you know what you need to attack with your little time. Step two, and this is what I actually used when I crammed. I would grab an A4 piece of paper and I would summarize those big ideas and those you know, usually very commonly asked ideas into a one to 10 ratio. So literally, 10 pages of textbooks or notes, I would summarize down to one A4 piece of paper. You know, writing tiny and just writing literally keywords, definitions, key examples, facts, dates, formulas, those really critical things that you just cannot function without in an exam. All right, so once you've got your one to 10 ratio A4 pieces of paper, which have the bulk of all the stuff you'll need to do or write in an exam, you now need to just memorize it. So, I mean, you can use plenty of tricks and tools, but they're usually for people who have lots of time on their hands. What I used to do was just literally take, you know, one eighth of the A4 piece of paper, read everything that was on that one eighth, close my eyes and say it aloud, or like look away and say it aloud, check if I got it all right. If I didn't, I'd just do it again, do it again until I got it right, move on to the next eighth of the page, and I would literally just keep repeating that over and over and over again until the exam time came because you, know, you obviously don't have that long, maybe a couple of hours, maybe you've got a night, two nights, but what you need to do is to shovel as much of that bulk information that you took from your notes, one to 10 ratio, into your brain. You've just got to literally cram it in there. It's a reason why they use that word. All right, so I'll just make a quick side note. If you're doing a maths or a science subject or something that has maths questions in it, what you'll need to do is obviously memorize a couple of example questions which are very, very, very commonly asked. So you'll want to learn the sequence. Instead of doing, you know, 30 questions, which you probably would have done if you had plenty of time, just take one very common example of each type of question and just memorize the process. If you're doing English, you'll need thesis statements, techniques, and, you know, just main ideas and character analysis. You can easily summarize that into half a page or a full page per essay. So they're the things you'll need to be focusing on in those type of subjects. All right, good luck, guys. Hope you don't have to cram too much, but if you do, do it properly, do your best. Thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more. And that's Student Life Australia. Thank you.